Hey guys, Cody Wall 3 here, and welcome to episode 8 of 1001 million in one month. And before we get started, if you'd like to buy some UT coins, go check out fifiutonline.com. They are a fast and reliable service for buying coins. A link to their site will be in the description below. Anyways, we start this episode off with a bit of trading, and we jump straight into our watch list. And you'll see there that we picked up 9 Falcows. Now, that was the upgraded Falcow, so that was his 89 rated version. And we picked up every single one for just over 10,000. It was 10,200 and 50 coins and I was just trying out a bit of mass bidding where I just basically search a max price of 10,250 and I bidded on every single uh, foul cow that was upgraded and yeah I ended up winning nine in total I think I bid on about 30 I think it was about 30 to 35 so I actually did quite well and it was mainly due to the fact that his normal card is in there as well so some people uh, I suppose let some Falcao slip away them upgraded ones anyways I did end up selling them all on for some different prices between about 12,750 and 13,750 depending on their formation and we ended up making a profit of over 20k 20,563 coins off them nine Falcao so a decent bit of trading there with the Falcaos and I also did a another a bit of trading I picked up two more players and one of them you will never guess who it is it is yeah you see it Falcao so we got another Falcao for 10,250 and that was at the end of the Falcaos for this episode and we actually also got an informed Lukaku that is his silver inform for 145,000 I couldn't believe it start price 145,000 there was five minutes left on him I put a bid in on and I thought I was going to get out bid because he goes for about 180 185,000 so uh, yeah, I ended up winning them. I was absolutely delighted. But this is the team that I built. So thank you to everyone who gave uh, sent in teams. I got so many YouTube inboxes, Facebook uh, squads, everything like that. On Twitter, a lot of you guys messaged me. I looked at every single squad. And you know what? I decided to go for a cheap Russian Premier League team. And that's exactly what I've done. The team cost me, I think, about 9,500 coins in total. So it did fall just under that 10k mark that I wanted. I forget whose team this was who sent it in to me. But uh, you know who you are because you'll be watching this, I think. And uh, yeah, this was the team I decided to build. It's actually an unbelievable team. I've played uh, a couple of games with it. And uh, yeah, it's just so good. Obviously, you've got Emanike and Eto up front. And the two of them are absolute pace demons. Then you've got Honda in just behind. And his free kicks are absolutely outstanding. He's probably one of the best free kick takers in the game. Also up there, like, you know, the likes of Juan Mata. He actually reminds me a lot of Juan Mata in terms of his play style at Cam and also his free kicks. And we've got three quick center backs as well, but Chetty being one of them. And we've also got quick wingers. We've got Magidi, and we also got Gonzalez, and we also got Igor Akinfeev in goals because he is the best keeper, I think, from the Russian Premier League. You will see everyone is obviously on nine chemistry. So, yeah, that's the team. I decided to play some games with it. We are now in Division 3, and, uh, yeah, we are, I don't, I think we're on three points in Division 3. Yeah, so we're a while away from getting promoted, but with this team, it should be a lot easier. Anyways, the first guy I come up against has quite a strong team. Wellington and Bent up front, uh, a lot of pace up there. He's got Neymar as his big player in there, and he's also got uh, Day Day and company at centre-back. Two absolutely superb centre-backs. But anyways, I do end up opening the scoring. You'll see here that it was none other than Eto using his pace. And look at that for a left-footed strike into the bottom right-hand corner. A great, great goal there by Eto. And once again, a good a link-up play between uh, Emanike and Eto. I believe that was Eto, unless that's Eto coming on the left-hand side. And the shot was put away by Emanike anyways. He didn't need any help. And you'll see here the free kicks uh, that I was talking about with Honda. You literally just line them up and he slots them home. I've scored, I think, four or five free kicks with uh, Honda so far uh, out of about, I think I've played about five games. So yeah, he's just absolutely, maybe not six, maybe about four or five, but it, it's felt like a lot. Anyways, uh, yeah, you'll see uh, that my opponent after 3-0 decides, you know what, enough is enough, and he quit. And we're now up to six points in Division 3. We're six off promotion and nine off that championship title. Anyways, the next guy I come up against, he's got a decent enough team, but a lot of guys are out of formation. And yeah, that's the reason why he's got a lot of red on his screen and he doesn't have 100 chemistry. But anyways, I do open the score and you'll see here Emenike with that strike look at that for a right foot and absolutely pounds it home to give me the lead after 11 minutes and again here I just play that over the top through ball it's Eto and the keeper was coming I wouldn't have scored if I kept going with Eto there so I did have to square to Honda 
and score but hey you know a win yeah you got to get the win at all costs you know that's what it's all about but you see here Eto, nice work getting the ball off david louise and he puts it home with his left foot and he has been one of the best players i've played with in fifa 13 ultimate team i've played with him i think in about three or four different squads now and he's just such a good striker he just scores so many goals i like emanike as well but don't get me wrong but eto he's just wow he's just so so good like even like there he just he's always in the right place at the right time popping up with the goals that you need and yeah this game was pretty much a cakewalk if it was what five nil at this point and i was just keep pounding home the goals gonzalez got one he kind of got annoyed at this point, played it back to his keeper, tried to chip it out to his defender, didn't work. Emanike finishes it with the finesse shot. And yeah, he's decided to bring his keeper out here. This is absolutely crazy. That's his keeper running across. I get Emanike in just behind and I take the shot and he finishes it well under pressure from my opponent's defender. But that's how the game ended. Emanike got a hat-trick, Eto got a hat-trick and I win the game 8-0 with 21 shots and 15 on target. And that means we are now up to 9 points and we're definitely not going to get relegated from division three which is always a good thing and we're only three points off promotion anyways the, the last guy that we come up against for this episode has a fairly standard german team you can see there he's looking to build a full team but he's still got three bronze players in there i do open the scoring with fernandez with that header but he gets his own back he swings in a corner swings in a corner and kenneth pops up to score a goal there that was one all and you'll see here Emanike breaking inside. And look at that first strike with his right foot. Emanike and Eto, there's just, I just know there's going to be so many goals. And I was thinking, you know, I haven't conceded all that much goals. And it was up until this game, I hadn't conceded all that much. But this game really just changed it because, yeah, I conceded quite a few goals, it must be said. And, uh, yeah, it was just, I don't know what it was. It might be the three at the back. I'm, I'm not that great at defending. Uh, and three at the back makes it a lot more difficult especially if the opponent has a uh, quick uh, strikers but uh, yeah i have my off days with the f defending and sometimes i'm good but anyways i do bring it all level with imanike just before half time and just after half time look at this for a goal by gonzalez it literally just rolls in he's sh he's true i got uh, I i'm getting my words all confused uh, he struck it and yeah it just went in that was a bit of a weird goal i remember when it happened i was like what the fuck what happened there but a uh, nice finish there by mcgeady to make it 5-3 but my opponent does grab one back and puts me definitely under the cosh i was thinking he gets one more goal it's all level at five all but uh, you'll see here, I do get a large slice of luck as defenders running into each other. And I pass it across to Honda, who puts it in to the half-empty net to make it 6-4. And a little bit of a half-dive and header there by Eto to make it 7-4. And that was a game over. But I did have time to grab one more Imanike here, dancing around his defender and slots at home what a great finish there and that was 8-4 and my opponent did end up getting a constellation with 15 minutes to go with the cross in a nice strike there by a schlodroff i think is how you say that guy's name and that's how the game ended 8-5 so many goals in that game and there wasn't actually that many shots considering how many goals there was but that does mean that we are now promoted from division three and we are now in division two that's absolutely crazy and we're going to finish this episode off with some uh, trading so the two players uh, we have in our trade pile is the first one is Falcao who we sold on for 13 and a half thousand we made a profit of 2575 and the big one there Lukaku we sold on for 180,000 which gave us a profit after tax of 26,000 after picking them up for 145,000 and in total in this episode between the Falcows and the informed Lukaku we managed to make a profit of nearly 50,000 so it's 49,138 so we're back on track to reach the million we are kind of a bit behind pace considering we are two weeks in and we have about 15 16 more days left but I'm definitely gonna concentrate more on trading because I have been busy uh, over the last couple of weeks and i haven't been able to trade that much but i'm definitely going to be uh going full throttle for it and hopefully reaching my target but that is it for this episode guys i do hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave this video a like it is always appreciated and if you haven't already go subscribe to my channel and i will see all you mofos next time understand how he wasn't picked up for the 80k buy now seen as the next buy now was around 86,000 so we ended up selling him on for 84,000 making a profit of 7,800 after tax and we made a profit of 5,563 off Falco